Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 13 QPR2 Beta 2 and I have it here on the 7 Pro to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. On the left I have the 6 Pro running the stable version of Android 13 and on the right I have QPR2 Beta 2. I couldn't spot any differences in the lock screen so I'm gonna jump right away to the home screen and the first change is in the at a glance widget. You will notice it's now placed slightly higher when compared to the stable one and and also the font is slightly smaller. The second change is in the system wide search. You will notice when I start scrolling in the newer version the search bar will change to match exactly the same one we have on the home screen with the Google Lens, the mic and also the Google logo but this doesn't happen in the stable version. Not only this but when I scroll back up the keyboard will be activated again automatically so I can start typing right away without the need to touch the bar. Another thing I noticed is the consolidated search is back again with this build. So when I type the word Android, I'm getting some web results in addition to the local results, but this not happening on the stable version. So please let me know in the comments if you face the same problem. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below, then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23 which is very affordable. To complete your purchase choose your preferred payment method, input the details and once the payment is done you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code click on the view keys slash codes button then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and activation and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Now let's move on to the notification shade and the quick settings. And the first change is in the home tile. As you see here, I have the Google Home logo next to the home name, which is not the case in the stable version. Now let's take a look at the media controls. And in QPR2 Beta 1, we used to have a shimmer effect that take place when you start playing or also switch between tracks. But after installing Beta 2, this new effect is now gone. The media switcher also got a new change that I've been waiting for for so long, which is the ability to cast media directly from here without the need to open the app. As you see, I have two speakers and one speaker group. So for example, when I choose one of the speakers, it will change into a volume slider so I can change the volume from here. And also when I connect to a speaker group like this one, it will give me two volume sliders based on how many devices you have in the group. And when you change the volume for one, it will change it for the other as well. You will also notice a new stop button at the bottom left corner that when you tap on, it will stop casting media to your smart devices and return back to the last connected device. And in this case, it's my Pixel Buds. And by the way, this new update for the media switcher is also available on the stable version after installing January update. And it's not only about smart speakers, but if you have a Chromecast, you will also see it in the list. Now let me show you some random tweaks here and there. And the first one is in the biometric authentication overlay card. So here I'm trying to share the Wi-Fi password and as you see the fingerprint icon is now shaded instead of having a solid color like the stable version. Another change that you will find on both versions after installing January update when you install an app and then go back to the home screen it will show you the app icon with a better looking progress bar when compared to December update. And the last chapter we have in this video is the differences under settings and the first one is under the notifications and then do not disturb. When you go to do not disturb and then schedules, you will see here the gaming option is now grayed out in this build, but in the stable version, it has a bug and it takes you back to the previous page or sometimes it gives you this message. Next, under battery and then battery usage, we no longer have the days like we used to have in the stable version. So here I have all the days of the week and I can choose each day to see the usage. But now we can only see the usage of the current day since the last full charge. Next, under display, 
and then a screensaver. Now you will see a text that will tell you if the feature is on or off, not only the selected option. So these are all the new changes in QPR2 beta 2 that I spotted myself, but there are a couple of new changes that I learned about from the Google News Group on Telegram. If you take a look here, they say that the volume slider is now taller and it has a different icon for the loud profile, but I didn't get this change yet on my 7 Pro. The second change here is the new toggle under the developer options that will allow you to force apps to have a mono icon which is the themed icons we have in google apps so if the developer doesn't have a themed icon you can force the app to create one and this toggle is not also available under my developer options and lastly this build supports the unicode 15 emoji that should give you new ones but this is also missing from my phone. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in QPR2 Beta 2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.